getting a late start for me today. I'm normally up and out before the sunrise, but this morning I had a bit of a sleep in. Um, it's actual demersal closes here in Perth anyway. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hang on, let me slow down. So it's actually closed season for demersal fish here in Perth where I live at the moment. So there was no real reason for me to get up early and um, make that sun snap, the sunrise bite for snapper. So. I've had a bit of a sleep in, I've had breakfast, and I've started to head out. Um, I'm just heading down to a couple of reefs down this way, a bit further down. I don't know if you can see them, sort of out that way. Uh, the goal is to go and try to find some kingfish. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go today. The wind's kind of really fluky. It's meant to be from the north northwest, which is not ideal, but it's actually from the northeast, which is again not ideal. The water's very murky. And the kings, I know the kings like a bit of clean water, but we'll head, tuck into one of these reefs and have a bit of a look around. Uh, I'll see what it looks like when I get there, but what I might have to do is just troll around and um, throw a few lures out the back and just sort of troll around and see if we can locate them. Um, normally with a clear water, I can kind of, sometimes I can see the schools or the birds will give them away, but when it's murky like this, sometimes they a bit harder to find, but we'll get out there and we'll have a look. So stay tuned and hopefully we can find something. Uh, here's reef number one um because it's a low tide it's all pretty exposed what i really want is like a platform either side with like a channel through the middle i'm looking for water movement and like funneling that sort of funneling effect that's going to funnel the bait through um with this wind it's going to be a bit tricky these sort of the edges like this are good but i can't actually sit in there today by myself if i had someone driving maybe Um, in here in these lagoons, they'll sometimes tuck in here, but mostly they like a bit more movement than what's going on in these sort of lagoons here. I'll keep trekking, see if I can find a better one. There's a handful of them all along here. They're, they run all the way along the coast, so I'll keep moving, see if I can find something better. It's nice and clean. At least the water looks clean inside the lagoon here. It's not so bad. What I really want to do is sort of just sit off to one side, but I'm not sure how I'm going to go with that with the swell today. Don't want to get wiped out. Yeah, it's not quite what I'm looking for. It's just too calm and too dead in here in this sandy hole. I'm looking for a bit more water movement and a bit more, um, a bit more life. I had a handful of casts in here, but it's just not, I'm not feeling it, so. I'll keep cruising around, see if I can find something that looks a bit better. This white water here looks right. But yeah, I don't know, it just seems dead. There's not even any herring or anything around, so... Go for a cruise, see what I can find. Here's another bit of a zone here. Uh, I'm just I'm watching the faces of the waves because sometimes you'll see the kings in the faces of the waves swimming past um, sometimes you'll see them just lolling on the surface or you'll see bait fish sharing out a bit of a giveaway I always just sort of sit and have a good look around for about five or ten minutes and just see what you can see Ooh. she's a bit of a rocky old zone in here that's for sure <laughs> It's going to be really hard to fish today. There's so much seaweed in the water just behind me here. It's ridiculous. You wouldn't even be able to get a cast in without hooking seaweed. It's just really hard on this wind because the wind's not playing ball with me. Normally I'd anchor here and let the back of the boat wash that way and I'd be able to cast straight in with it easily. But today there's no east so it's kind of a bit um, awkward because the back of the boat's facing this way as you can see and I need to cast out <laughs> See all the seaweed behind me in the water so much Now oh, keep cruising see what else I can see Oh the surf looks like smoking over there no one out All right, got another zone here. It's not quite as much movement as I would have liked but with the swell the way it is today, I just can't get near anything where I want to get into, so 
I'll have a few casts around here and just see. You never know, These the kings can just show up anywhere. They're really a random sort of fish, so they just like this real heavy reefy country around these breaking sort of reefs. So I've just got a bit of barely going in the water down here. I'll sit here for 15, 20, just have a few casts around. There's a lot of weed in the water. It's going to make it really tricky for me. I've got on this um, diver stick bait here. Sort of I can pop or I can splash and pop that across the surface or swim at just subsurface. Um, it's got a rattle in it, flashes a lot, makes a lot of a commotion. So if there's any kings around, they'll certainly hear or see that. So I don't know. Give it 15, 20. This is kind of the way it is with the kings. Sometimes they're around, sometimes they're just not. They, they, they show up on all these reefs all along the coast, so it's just a matter of just doing the cow, doing the cast, basically. Same sort of places people will fish for herring, skippy. They're there. Just most people aren't really rigged up and chasing them. They're chasing the smaller fish. It's actually quite pleasant in here. Where I was before, on these outer ones just over here, there was a lot of swell and a lot of movement. It was really tricky to sort of find a comfortable spot to sit, find a safe spot to sit more to the point. Big Samson fish lights are frequent in these sort of areas as well, so you just never know. If you're not casting, you're not in with a chance, I guess. Oh, I just had some crazy follows then by something. Not sure what they were. There was one skippy, but the rest of them were sort of, I think they might have been snook. Yeah, there they are, they're hanging down low. See them, see them, see them? Yeah, they're snook. That's all right, it's a start. Oh! Feisty little fellas. Whoops. Oh, that's the start of the food chain. Once you start getting a bit of, um, once you start getting some fish in the, um, at the back of the boat here, it causes a bit of a commotion. And the kings can sense that from quite a distance away. So if they're around, they'll know something's going on over here. Oh, there's heaps of them. There's an, oh! They're nuts. They're only the size of the lure and they're whacking it. Look at them. Oh, I might put my little popper on here. I've got a little popper. Oh, that's a big skippy. <laughs> All right, I've tied on a little soft plastic. It's a little um, Lazy Lures bomb squad here. Oh, wow, I don't know if you can see the skippy down the bottom here underneath the boat. I'm on my 15 pound gear on the light gear, so I'll just have a play with this. Like I say, once the food chain starts and you start getting fish aggressive in the burley at the back of the boat, that can quite often attract the kings to come over and have a look. Oh, wow, yeah, the snook, the skippy, it's all happening down here now. Oh, hit straight up. What's that? Yeah, I've got a snook on first cast, look at that. Second cast. Slimy snook. All right, stop. I don't like these guys, they're so slippery and slimy. I might keep a couple for bait, so. Eh? Little snooky boy. He can go, but I'm pretty sure I'll get a couple more. Oh, so slimy and slippery. I'll get a couple of these for a laugh. There was a couple of big skippy just down there a second ago too, so. Oh, yeah, on the fall, that's getting pantsed on the, on the drop. Yeah, straight in. Oh, look at these. 
These snook, they're so aggressive, they're everywhere. Let it fall, I want that skippy down below. They're just hitting it on the drop. Oh, that's much better, I'll use a rag. Good idea, Scott. Another little snook, the bum squad's scoring, I'm gonna just, oh, he didn't, he didn't quite make the bucket. <laughs> I want to try to get past the snook to get to the skippy. I can see the skippy down there. Oh, I just dropped that right past one. This little bum squad lure is just like a little bait fish profile, soft plastic. I've kind of downsized a little bit. Normally if I was chasing kings or snapper, I'd go with a big seven inch like that. Because I know these are only small fish here at the moment, I've downsized it. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I've got a fish on. Wow, these guys are so aggressive this morning. Crazy. Get in my tub. There you go. I'll keep maybe two or three of those. Okay, I've just tied on this little tiny Helco popper. It's a little, the smallest rooster popper that they make. I think it's more designed for brim than anything. But I'm going to stick this on and see if I can um, see if I can get some surface hits from these snook or maybe even a um, skippy might have a crack at it on the surface. Who knows? I'm just going to bloop it across. Wow, it actually makes quite a splash for such a small lure. I've tried this before. Oh, Skippy just come up and it looked then. I don't know if you saw that. There's a Skippy down there just having a look. Be more barely going. <laughs> Let's splash and bleep this. Now, funnily enough, all of those snook seem to have just up and disappeared which could be a sign so, oh it's got a hit there surface strikes on maybe i'm just lying and this is another snook now what is this oh it's a herring oh dropped him <laughs> that was a herring on the little popper um yeah all the snook seem to have disappeared which could be a sign that something bigger sort of showing up and having a look around. Because the smaller fish won't hang around. Oh, and again. Oh, the little popper's on. You. Stop. Stop. Settle, 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 settle. Oh, he missed my tub. That's all right. I only need a couple of baits for next time. Um, if I get a couple of skippy, I'll keep a couple for a feed. I'm not super keen on herring. Oh, it just goes to show you when things don't go to plan, change plans. The whole kingfish thing was, I knew it was going to be ambitious today with the conditions anyway. But I had to have a look and I'm still not ruling myself out because there's every possibility they could just show up here. But you can't complain with fish on poppers, even if they are herring and snook.
I don't know if you guys can see that little popper splashing away there. It actually makes a fair old splash for itself for such a small little thing. Oh, I wonder if I can tie them up for a popper. I don't know if you guys can see them. They are some really decent skippy. All right, change plans again. Uh, I've just tied on a single hook. It's a little um, Gamma Katsu Shiner um, with a little Cuba Muley on there. You can see that. I'm just going to flop this down. Um, the snook have just all but disappeared. I don't know where they've gone, but I reckon something is hanging around, something a bit more threatening, and they've buggered off. But those skippy were still hanging around. Let me see if I can't turn up one of those and maybe get a feed. I don't know, just got hammered there by something. I think that was a snook. Skippy's there. Oh, this is so visual, I can see everything. Oh! The skippy had that there and dropped, slipped it off. Yep, something on here. That's oh, a snooky boy. Oh, and dropped. Oh, he just bit my hook off. Give me my hook back. That's not fair. There's two of those. I'll keep those two for bait. There's a couple of decent sized trevally down there just mooching at the bottom. If only I can get this past the snook. Oh, here he goes. He's having a look at it now. Oh yeah, he's having a look. Eat it. Oh, he's very flighty. Oh, another snook just come in out of nowhere and pegged it. Oh, he fell in my bucket. Well, that's destiny. While I'm doing this, I've always got my eyes on the water, always scanning, always watching. I've got that stick bait still rigged up, ready to go. Because you just, oh, there's something. You just never know. Oh, there's a herring. You never know when the kingfish is just going to show up out of the blue. See what happened there? I just cast that out a bit away from the boat and the herring seemed to be holding out there a bit further. Oh, he's a big bull too. Ow. Look at him. He's a big bull of a herring. I'll hold on to him as well. That's probably all I'm going to keep for baits but today. This is great. Great fun fishing if you've got kids. Kids love this sort of stuff. You can see the fish. There's plenty of them little bits of bait on light outfits it's good fun um, it's not always about filling your freezer full of jewfish and snapper sometimes you can just have a good outing with your family or whatever doing something like this very visual there's a lot going on down here i wish i could fool one of these silver trevally it's gone all together dead here now um, everything's just buggered off so i'm going to move on try another route that's nice um, I'll try another reef a little bit further on and, I don't know, see what happens. I'm getting out of here. The breeze has kind of started to swing around a bit now and it started to ruffle a bit stronger than it was. So um, I'm going to go while the going's good. Didn't get the kingfish I was after, but I'm really not fast. I've been out on the water for a couple of hours. It's been beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's still not too bad. It's just starting to pick up a little bit from the northwest now. And um, I feel like it's probably going to get a bit ugly if I stay too much longer. But I'm going to have a quick swim and get out of here. 
Uh, I've got a handful of baits. Like I said, myself and Jack are going to start doing some droning. So um, those baits will be handy. They'll probably be on the next um, drone video that I do with Jack. So he's got himself a new Swell Pro. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. I've never done any droning before, but I'm going to have a quick swim. Get out of here. If you like my videos, stay tuned and I'll see everyone in the next episode. Um, as usual, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys all ne next time. Thank you.